Well, Fridays, 9 to 9.30, we like to uh, set this side of time for, you know, a, a local Kansas City media person, just really anybody, um, to join us on our feature Friday. And I figured in the wake of the news this week, we spent a lot of time on Wednesday um, carrying our TV partner, KCTV5. They were doing a great job reporting what was taking place on Wednesday afternoon, and we used a lot of their coverage. And Carolyn Long was at the uh, center of it. So she's kind enough to come into the studio and join us. Good morning, Carolyn. Thanks for being here. Good morning, Pete. Thank you for having me. Well, Saturday, you know, we thought it was just going to be this big celebration. And then suddenly you go from kind of rah-rah chiefs to serious news hat, you know, shooting, what's going on. Uh, What was that like for you as you're going through that? You know, it was surreal because we went on, Brad Stevens and myself went on at uh, 9 a.m. Yes. To just start the parade coverage. Mm -hmm. And... Parade coverage is, is wonky. Mm-hmm. It's hard. It, it, it's weird. You know, you never know, you know, what to do for those two hours before the players actually hit grand, right? Mm-hmm. So you're always a little nervous going in. You have two hours to fill before you see the first player, you know, and it went wonderful. It It just went great. And everything went on time. We had scores of reporters all the way from sixth and grand down to union station ready to go at the rally we we had it covered Mm -hmm. and and it was a great time we had a a a really beautiful morning and it was yeah 60 degrees sunny Uh, perfect by all accounts a great great celebration for kansas city and uh we we got to just about two Mm o'clock the rally just ended you know we were Ready to, you know, Pack make, up, right? make fun of the players a little bit. Yeah, yeah, Rose yeah. Travis. Yeah. Oh, gosh. A smidge. Uh, a smidge. And <laughs> we were just about a couple minutes before two, and we just had this little prepared goodbye. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Kansas City. Kind of just put this beautiful bow yeah. on all of our Super Bowl coverage. Mm-hmm. And it just was like the big finish. Ta-da. Grand finale. Yeah. And... I looked up at the the screen on the monitor, not the one that you were seeing on TV necessarily. It's the one that, like the preview monitor. And we, we kind of even commented on the air, people are leaving quickly. You know, must be hungry. Yeah. Must need a bathroom break. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or something. You yeah. know, after being at that rally, some of them stationed out there since, you know, 4 a.m. Mm-hmm. to get that good seat. Yeah. And we started... We commented on that, and then I looked at that preview monitor, and I saw a line of people running. And I pointed off camera and said, like, something's not right. Mm-hmm. And that's when they got in our earpiece then and said, uh, stay on this. Something doesn't look right. Mm-hmm. And then we took that first shot of like a, one of those um, emergency golf carts mm-hmm. going by. Yeah. And that didn't look right either. You know, so, mm-hmm. something was brewing. But of course, w- what did we think at that moment? We thought, oh. Someone, you know, you know hurt an maybe ankle. Maybe someone had a heart attack. Y- yeah, heart attack, yes. You know, yes, someone yes. fell and, and it twisted an ankle yeah. and the, you know, medics are moving mm-hmm. in. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, so we thought, yeah, just get, let's stay on a few extra minutes here, make sure this is all okay. And the next thing you know, Pete, it was seven o'clock at night. Yeah. That's the next time we went off the air. So from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m., we did not stop talking. And it went from literal one emotion, like the glory Mm -hmm. of KC, to to a legit 180 to the exact opposite. It was was horrifying. Yeah. To be honest with you, though, uh, none of it hit me. Yeah. In that time frame, in that 10 hours, the joy of it hit me, of course, but the, the opposite didn't mm-hmm. until much later. I, in fact, I got up yesterday morning and I was sad. Yeah. Well, you're in that kind of news I mode. I mean, it hit me hard well, yesterday. Yeah, where you're kind of like, you, you suddenly go from joyous coverage, which is different from the coverage <laughs> later in the day. And what you've got to do, and by the way, there are times that you and Brad, uh, I saw back in the studio there later in the day, you guys are, uh, filibustering is the wrong word, but you're just kind of talking <laughs> to wait for a press conference to start. Sure, I mean, sure. you're just kind of updating, you're trying to have a conversation. So your mind is not in the place of 
really empathizing because it can't in that moment. No, exactly right. You're you're kind of like, okay, where are we going next with this? Yeah. What what's the next logical question in this in this mm-hmm. big uh, problem? And almost like you're. I am not an investigator, but it's almost like you're kind of pretending to be because I'm trying to piece together. Okay, wait, Mm -hmm. this person just told us they were on the left side of the stage. That person just said they ran into Union Station, you know, and the officers were running out. That person saying they were running in. Where was the shooting? You know, we're trying to put all these pieces to this weird puzzle together live on Mm -hmm. on TV it, it, it's a strange position to be in, and you're right. Like, that doesn't allow for time to empathize with anyone. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know? And on top of that, you know, you're trying to do all this, and you've got, and i got to give credit to some of your sports reporters who went into news mode. Like, Neil Jones is a sports guy. And then suddenly, he did a great job as a news guy in that moment. Through and there was a lot through. of that going through on. Through and through. Uh, do you know Neil Jones I've at never all? Met Have him, you ever no. met him? Never met him. Well, maybe one time at your studio. That's it. He yeah. has been around at uh, Channel 5 longer than I have. Yeah. I think he's the only one uh, longer <laughs> than me. And um, he's kind of a prankster. Mm-hmm. He's a big jokester in the newsroom. You can he's tell him the way those... he delivers his packages, right. too. He's, yeah, right. He has fun. He's, he has fun with it. He's a sports guy. Yeah. And... The, the first time I got a little nervous that something really was going truly terribly wrong, it wasn't a sprained ankle, yeah. was that I heard Neil saying off camera, guys, come to me. Guys, guys, come to me. And I, my hope was it was typical Neil Jones yeah. fashion, and he was going to say, I've got this Chiefs player from, you know, 1985. You, ha- you have to meet. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. But in his voice, it wasn't that. Gotcha. And he said, guys, come to me. Come to me now. I, guys, guys, guys. And, and then his earpiece went out for a moment, and I, we couldn't hear him. Mm-hmm. We, he, and he couldn't hear us. And I got really nervous because it just wasn't like Neil. That was my first tip off that this is a problem. What you didn't see on TV, and neither did I, was that that rush of crowd coming and and angry people in that crowd probably involved in this argument that happened mm-hmm. uh, pushed our camera guy Greg Malota awesome has been around for years as well uh, pushed him wow and Neil went to his defense hmm. and Neil got thrown back oh wow hard yeah he got he got tackled and um, but. Neil Jones, our photographer, Greg Malota, been around long enough. They jumped back up and they said, let's go on now Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and let's not come off the air. Yeah. So where does this stack up? You've been in Kansas City. We talked about this before you got on the air, 30 years. Where does this moment stack up in all your coverage the last 30 years in this town? I I can't remember a worse time. Mm -hmm. This is it. Mm -hmm. This is this is the worst of the worst. I can only compare it to things where there was a lot of um, fatality, but but natural disasters, yeah. tornadoes coverage. Yeah, yeah. That this feels a little like that in mm-hmm. in the length of time you're on the air and and the the amount of hardship, but that's totally different. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, this is completely man made. This is not act of God. Yeah, and. You know, th- this has to be the worst of the worst. And I think that's what hit me yesterday. Mm-hmm. In in addition to just wanting to celebrate our yeah. city and just wanting to, you know, I have a lot of family members elsewhere in the country. Mm-hmm. And, you know, when we first moved to Kansas City 30 years ago, they kind of said, why? Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, and I've I've spent 30 years explaining to them why and yeah. proving to them why. Mm-hmm. And this was one moment where I can say, see, yeah, now you see it. Look at this. This is what our city does. And, and then, our sports teams do. Yeah. What, you know, the culmination yeah. of it, the, the, the celebration of it. And that's what I wanted. Mm-hmm. And then all went haywire. Uh, Carolyn Long is in our studios, KCTV5. You see her every night on your TVs, did incredible work. Uh, This week, especially on Wednesday, when um, it went from very celebratory to totally chaotic. And Carolyn, this week wraps up for you a trip to the Super Bowl as well. So, I mean, talk about 
I got to imagine, first off, you probably need some sleep, so thank you for being here. Um, <laughs> but secondly, I mean, you've seen and experienced the high of the highs and the low of the lows this I, week. I mean, when I tell you this was the absolute, you know, start to finish difference that I, I, I mean, I can't, I, I can't put into words how wild of an emotional swing that was. Mm-hmm. Um, so I spent about a, almost a week in Las Vegas. Wow. And you know, I'm not a sports girly mm-hmm. uh, necessarily. I mean, I love my Chiefs yeah, and yeah, I yeah. love watching and, you know, but I went out there just to get the fan experience, mm-hmm. what, what fans were in for, what, what Chiefs fans could experience in Las Vegas. And it was stellar. Mm-hmm. I had, I mean, I, I didn't sleep much, not because I was out partying, but because, <laughs> but because I was covering It's okay if you were, so we would much. never judge. And I was on every newscast we yes. had, I felt like, uh, just just kind of telling you what what you're in for and even for those back here who couldn't get out to vegas you know what's going on yeah it, it was it was magical yes oh my it goodness. really was an exhausting magical experience oh. and i couldn't wait to come back to kansas city and like i said put a bow on our super yeah. bowl coverage this is it Here's and you the, guys had the super bowl on cbs as well it was on kctv5 on sunday i know we had it all <sighs> I got to do confetti angels on the field after the game. I mean, it was it was momentous for me, for Casey, for all of wow. us. So uh, take me, we talked about where this kind of stacks up in career coverage for you in Kansas City, but we like to do this a little bit during this segment. Your career begins in radio in Connecticut. Is that right? Well, actually, born and raised in Ohio. Okay. Went to Kent State University. Got it. And started my radio career there in Akron Canton area on a rock station. Nice. Mm-hmm. Had nice. a pro- had a program director that decided that uh, my maiden name at the time w- wasn't going to do. So my maiden name Carolyn Dengler. He that, said, "Nope, uh, that, won't, yeah, that won't cut it." Not a great fit. I could so, see that. I became Carolyn Fox, the fox that rocks. Oh, well, that would work right down the hallway. You know, See? we have 101 the fox right uh-huh. down the hall. Double X. Double X. <laughs> Double X. <laughs> Carolyn Fox. Oh, Completely man. Completely fabricated yeah. name, but it's a name that actually stuck with me. So I started in radio, uh, morning radio news, and did a little traffic reporting yeah. in the air. It, it, That's you know, great. Flew twice a day during drive times uh, out of Cleveland. Uh, WMMS, home of the buzzard. Oh, that's you. Remember it well. It's and, funny uh, how the call letters come right back. Yep. And uh, then got married mm-hmm. soon soon after college and moved to Connecticut mm-hmm. and worked in New Haven, Connecticut. Okay. With, uh, did morning radio then, morning news with Glenn Beck. Oh, really? For five years. He in, was in New Haven then? In Connecticut. Yes. New Haven, Connecticut. So he was doing local Connecticut radio. Absolutely. Glenn Beck was. Yep. So he was covering, I mean, I'm... Glenn was, and Pat in the morning, and then I was like their straight... How about sidekick that? Sidekick kind of thing, their news girl. Wow. hmm Now, would you have ever predicted Glenn to have the success that he's had in this industry? Not to the extreme... Yeah. ...that he's yeah. gone. Yeah. But am I surprised? No. He was good as just a radio he guy. He was always a go-getter. Yeah. Always just going to go, go. And he... he eats, sleeps, and breathes his work. Wow. Always. Always has. No so matter what. No matter. But at the time, he wasn't in uh, politics yeah, necessarily. Yeah, he was just this a local was, news talk show guy, well, right? Well, no. It no? was more, it was more morning zoo? fun. Morning Zoo. Exactly. Really? Okay, so was this a music station or was it a yes, talk station? Yes, it was a, a music top 40. Okay. So Glenn Beck, I, now nope. you know, I'm, I'm sure there's some fans that are going to say, I knew that, for, but I didn't realize that. Glenn and Pat in the morning was their names. And Pat's still with them today uh, in a small way. Mm-hmm. Uh, but... Yeah, it was a totally different day. Wow. We didn't do politics. Yeah, no, We no, didn't no. do opinions. Yeah. We did straight just morning fun. Wow. And was it fun? It was It was a, a blast. Wow. It was a wild ride. That radio time was okay. a wild ride in Connecticut. So what happens to move to TV? Glenn just wore you out? And he was too much of a pain? Or what happened to move to TV? Actually, no. My I always wanted to do television news. Oh, okay. Always. And he always gave me grief for it. Glenn? So, come on, don't sell out to television. Oh, that's come funny. on. <laughs> don't sell out to TV. Speaking of the guy who eventually sold out to TV. And when I first, when I got the news, 
when I, I had moved to Kansas City for my husband's job at KCI. Oh. Yeah, he was part of the management staff at KCI. Okay. Airport. And um, we moved here for his job. And I said, nope, this is my ch- my time. I got to make that trans. If mm-hmm. I'm going to transition to television, yeah. let's go ahead and do it now. Easy, wow. easy break. And so I worked for five long months mm-hmm. in St. Joe. Wow. Got my, my TV legs gone, you know. Yeah, yeah, Figured yeah. out my TV ways at uh, KQ2 mm-hmm. and um, then moved to KCTV5, and that was 28 years ago. No kidding. Been, been at Channel 5 ever since. Wow. Okay, so you get the job at Channel 5, like everyone in media. Um, I'm sure at some point there was an opportunity or a thought about leaving or no? There was a few offers along the way yeah. uh, to get back to um, – Cleveland, okay, because that's hometown kid. Mm-hmm. Kid, come on home, uh, but I never was tempted by it. Really? No, we we raised our family here. Our daughter was mm-hmm. raised here, and it just was right. Mm-hmm. It was all, it was the right place to be. It's our it's our hometown. Mm-hmm. How old's your daughter now? Twenty five. Wow. Twenty five. Now oh she's goodness. adulting. Yes, in yes. Dallas. Okay, so she's in. So Dallas. we're true empty nesters. So how are you liking that? By the way, no, I'm, I, I'm not. Okay, I, I either. I'm not a so fan. I like asking the question because there's no like gray area. People either love it or they hate it. I'm not a fan. You're not a fan. No. Oh man. No, not a fan. Oh, she went off to college at uh, TCU. Okay. In Texas. And go Horn Frogs. Just go. Yep. Go Horn Frogs. And wow. uh, never, never came back. Never came back. Nope. I mean, we see her. Yeah, often. yeah, yeah. Of yeah, course, yeah. but but miss her terribly and, and wish she was around. And you know, she's wow. the only child. That's it. Oh yeah, it's, that's, it's I, quiet. I, now. I, it's quiet. Um, all right, last thing here. I got thirty seconds. Does your husband love the new airport as a KCI guy? He does, and that was his project. Oh, what? So he loves that airport. Well, you tell him. <laughs> that's we, his baby. You tell him we love the airport. Okay, good. Good right? to hear. Good I, to hear. I, I, mean, I will I don't, tell him. I don't care about any of the drama around it. That thing is the new front gate of this town, and we desperately needed it. That's what he so says. So you tell him. That's what he says. That's that's some uh, bang up work. But what's his name? Well done, Dave Long. Dave. Well mm-hmm. done there, Dave. <laughs> Carolyn, well done by you. Thank you for being here. Well, thanks for having me. Sorry it's on a sad occasion like this because I am sad for our city, but happy to be here. Yeah. Carolyn Long, KCTV5. You watch her every night um, on your 10 o'clock news, and uh, we are grateful for her, her time, their coverage as well. Um, over the last several days, we carried a lot of that on Wednesday afternoon here on KCMO.